Uh, good afternoon, Saitlanders. How are you? We hope that you're well. I want to mention something to you that I've been meaning to do a video about, and I had a feeling that I had done a video about it. And then I thought that perhaps I'd confused that video with an interview that I did. So I'm going to possibly just uh, repeat that video that I've already made. I can't go through all of them and I don't recognize on YouTube or on BitChute a title that would necessarily fit that video. I may have used a slightly obscure title and done the video and loaded it up for you guys and you might have seen it already but I can't be sure and I can't watch all the videos. So, here's the story. <clears throat> Tommy Craylin, many of you know him, very good man. His wife, may she rest in peace, Tasha, passed away uh, about 10 months ago. They lived one, two, three doors down from me here in Van der Kloof. And indeed, Tommy still has that house. Sadly, he is left with two sons to bring up. Young sons, young boys. Um, yeah, we wish him everything of the very, very best, Tommy. Tommy was here recently, over December, to, you know, sort out things. He hasn't been around um, since Tasha's passing. And a friend of his, an old friend of his, came to see him and asked Tommy some questions about Boer War, battlefield sites in this area and Tommy said to him Simon will be able to help you so he brought his friend to meet me and we spoke about many things cabbages and kings um, and at some point we spoke at length about Saitlanders, about our national emergency plan, about the safe area, about logistics and food and so on and this man Tommy's friend Mark who came to see me um, is a vegetable gardener as a profession so he he grows in greenhouses and aquaponics and hydroponics and tunnels and that's what he does I don't think that farmer is quite the right word. And he does it for a corporation. So a company that is developing this undertaking as a commercial venture. Putting up numerous greenhouses and tunnels and aqua... I don't know all of this stuff. Mark does that. And Mark said to me that we... He said in response to me claiming that, thank the Lord, one of the things with which we will not struggle in the time that lies ahead is food because of the, uh, all of the, the, the irrigated crop farming from the, on the banks of the Orange River, on the alluvial plains next to the Orange River. And Mark then recited chapter and verse some studies done uh, particularly in Germany, as I remember the story, as I recall the story. Mark, if I'm misquoting you, I apologize, but I think that I've got the spirit of the story. And apparently, if, if they stop using um, commercial fertilizers, In the farming areas around the city of Berlin, I want to—I can't remember what he said, but but in the food production areas surrounding Berlin, if they stopped using commercial fertilizers today, they wouldn't be able to successfully grow any crops for 50 years because of the utter destruction of the micro microbes, Mark, 
used it. He said microbial somethings. Let's just call them microbes. The microbes in the soil, the natural microbes in the soil, buy the commercial fertilizers. I don't speak as an expert, but I'm quoting an expert who has clearly done his homework in this field and who was able to quote to me specific academic studies based upon real research and experimentation. 50 years, at least 50 years for that soil to be restored. So similarly, if we have, uh, um, if we are not able to produce commercial volumes of commercial fertilizer, we will not be able to grow commercially feasible crops on the alluvial plains of the Orange River in our safe zone, as we may think that we will be able to do. I suppose that it will vary. I suppose that some tracts of land have not been so utterly ravaged by the use of commercial fertilizers. I suppose that some commercial fertilizers are more lethal than others. I suppose that some tracts of land have been more recently planted. In other words, commercial fertilizers have been used for the first time more recently, far more recently than on other tracts of land. I suppose that we will find tracts of land along the, the southwest, the, the lower southwest uh, section of the Vaal River and along the Orange River that have never been commercially planted <coughs> and which possess good quality soil and therefore the forecast or the problem with which I am presenting you may be somewhat exaggerated. It may not be that bad. I'm not suggesting that it's going to be the end of the world for the reasons that I've just given you. However, it more than struck a chord with me, more than made an impression upon me. It really affected me. Learning that, gaining that knowledge from an expert in the field, somebody who is a specialist, in not planting a million hectares, you know, commercially or whatever, but in growing hundreds of thousands of plants under the most ideal conditions to get the, to, to realize the maximum potential in them. That guy, he knows what he's talking about. And it, it really affected me. I, I thought about it, to all, not non-stop, but very often over the following few days and again few weeks and up until now. This is a recurrent thing in my mind. And hopefully this video is of some value to you in, in, in providing an impetus or a motivation To prepare food, to prepare heirloom seed. By the way, anybody who wants to purchase heirloom seed, I have a good recommendation. I have recommended him before. It's not to say that you shouldn't buy from anybody else. By no means, Saitlanders doesn't even get 1% commission. We've never gotten anything out of this deal. Uh, yeah, I suppose it's a bit of a deal. But... Uh, the second largest, whew, I could mess this up, the second largest grower or the second largest seller, seller, I think, of heirloom seeds in South Africa is a guy by the name of uh, uh, Mark. And he his company is called Organic Seeds or Organic Seed. Let me just look it up. I could be wrong. Uh, I can't remember. 
and infants. Singular or plural. It's singular. Organic seed dot co dot z a. If you scroll down the page, let me try and bring it up for you. I'm, I'm, you know, I've got a new computer and I'm struggling as ever with this video software. It's not my talent by any stretch of the imagination. Um, so I may mess this up, but let's, let's see. Or you're going to get something else. One of the other tabs. Yeah, oh, you see. Um, let's just do that. Do this. Do that. Um, and we might be able to bring up this page. Um, sorry, guys. Okay, so we're struggling to bring up the right page. Um, Uh, let's leave it at that. But you will find it easily. Organic seeds. So the, the website is organic seed singular dot co dot z a. Uh, um, if you scroll down the left hand side. All the way to value packs. I haven't been here for a long time, so I hope I don't mess this up. You will come across the Family Survival Seed Pack for 850 SA Rond, which has been designed specifically for St. London's National Emergency Plan. Specifically, Mark and I, Mark did all of the work, but I uh, was the, the person commissioning the work. I'm going to say Mark and I worked on this together for weeks. He did all of the labor. He got back to me after I'd given him a brief. I cross-questioned him. I was initially dissatisfied with what he'd done. I cross-questioned him closely for about a half an hour. He proved me wrong on every single point that I brought up. And I humbly said to him, well done. You have done a fantastic job for St. Lambert's. Under the circumstances that we anticipate in the environment and in the ecosystem and in the geographic location and in the climate where we shall be, this is the right answer. So, there you go, guys. Uh, what else are we encouraging you to do? We're encouraging you to uh, prepare food. Get heirloom seed, uh, 62 packets of over 50 varieties, so 3,000 something seeds or more. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else did we want to say, man? Forgotten, completely forgotten. Okay, everybody, I hope it was good enough. Thanks very much for watching. All of the best to you. May God bless you in 2022, a year which promises to be exceedingly difficult. But may our Lord bless and keep you so that it is less difficult for you than it shall be for many, many other people worldwide.